All right, so up there on top of the hill is kind of the existing field <clears throat> uh, past the bike there. And then over on the far side there, you can see that is the the dirt field, we call it. Uh, that was field was cleared a few years ago now. Uh, we make hay off it every year. Um, I think that's about five acres or so over there, five and a half acres. But anyway, he kind of continued on this way uh, with that field basically just he's been piling stuff up and putting windrows and that uh, we kind of stayed out of down here because it runs in the swamp a bit so we kind of stayed up on top of the hill and got more piles there <clears throat> and all this here has all been brushed off he's working over there now I'll take you over there in a minute to see that but uh, I think I think I was out here probably two weeks ago I guess and uh, I measured it it was about two and a quarter acres then so it'd be a bit more than that now probably probably getting up near three acres but anyway it's just a slow old process so once you get to much of this brush piled up uh, we're gonna hire a fella to come in with a dozer and push it off down into that swamp or something just to get rid of it um, I was we actually had some of this cleared from last year too, and I wanted to burn the piles through the winter, but it just never came to fruition. But anyway, so let's take a run over where he's clearing at now. There's a bit more cleared over there too, and uh, we'll see him working. All right, so I'm way down the far end where he's got cleared, and he, he's gonna be watching this video. He's gonna make fun of me for saying this, but he's actually got a lot done. Uh, I'm pretty impressed, actually. You got this one strip down, like way, way up there is where we came from before in the last clip there, or not, not the clip with the excavator, but when I was talking before that. Anyway, he came all the way down here, and he made a windrow. Uh, right through the center all the way down I turn there a little bit way down there and he came around and swung back up and he's way up there on the other side with the hoe now but I've been kind of teasing him a little bit about not getting nothing done out here but making pretty good progress I'll have to take the drone out and fly over I guess to get uh, the full grasp on uh, on video how much is done but I'll just run with the bike here holding the camera and you guys can see for yourselves a little bit anyway
Ugh. Anyway, I think <laughs> that's enough of that, but I'm not sure how stable it's going to be. It's not like I got the gimbal on or nothing, but uh, way, way up around there, you can kind of see a little bit of orange at times. That's where he's at with the hoe now. Yeah, you can see it right there now, just a little bit. So anyway, we'll run back up that way, I guess. Anyway, just to give you guys a rough idea where we're at on the farm, this is that field we blew, uh, we chopped the other day. Uh, that was right dry. That's the seven acre field right there. And this is another piece that we're gonna do. It's all full of uh, curly dock, but anyway. And right back here, that's where he's at with the hoe right now. So, that's about where we're at. We're kind of at the back side of the farm. We're about, uh, I don't know, a kilometer maybe, I guess, off the main road, behind the barns and stuff. So, we're a ways back. Alrighty guys, we're back home now. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's, uh, it's a long, slow process, trying to create farmland from scratch. Um, all that land was cleared, not clear, not clear like we're doing it now, but cleared, like the trees were cleared off it. Um, a few years back, I probably had video of it years ago, but I can't remember, but anyway. Uh, it was all, all the trees were cleared off it there a few years ago, and we probably should have got right on it then, but um, we didn't. So a lot of the brush and stuff is starting to come back in it. But anyway, anyway it's not a huge deal, but it just kind of slows things down. A little bit but anyway yeah like i said it's a long slow process clearing farmland and you know clearing the trees and getting the stumps out of it and all that is only part of it there's going to be more to it yet and i'm sure there'll be future follow-up videos on that um down the road but for now i'll just uh i'll leave it at that i guess um because we don't really need to see 400 videos of uh clearing land so anyway like I said, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a whole bunch. Um, we still got this project here we're working on. The old, you can hardly see it in here anyway, but 1394 is here in the shop. So thanks to those of you who have bought, uh, bought Mac Farms t-shirts like, like this one. Um, I make a little bit off them, not a whole lot. I think I got another probably 400,000 t-shirts to sell before we get this puppy restored, but <laughs> it uh, it all helps. So, and of course, even oh, you don't have to spend money to help me. Hit, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and share my videos and all that stuff. That helps even more than uh, buying new t-shirts and stuff like that. So, get the, uh, get the views and get the subscribers up and it'll... Uh, It'll help out tremendously. So anyway, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.